We're here to officially launch and unveil the Francis Ledwidge commemoration sculpture and poetry plaques by the artist Liam O'Brien. We're delighted to have Frank and Joe Ledwidge, both grand nephews of Francis Ledwidge, with us this evening to officially to unveil the sculpture. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome you here to this wonderful occasion. An occasion which marks the culmination of a year of fantastic events commemorating the life and works of the poet Francis Ledwidge. This is a great day for Slane as we commemorate the farm labour, soldier and poet that is Francis Ledwidge. At the outset, I want to pay tribute to the Ledwidge Cottage Museum Committee for the incredible passion in which they devote to upheld to uphold the memory and legacy that is Francis Ledwidge. Francis Ledwidge was the bridge between those brave Irish men and women who were in Dublin in 1916 and those who lost their lives in the trenches in Belgium and elsewhere in the First World War. He was ex acceptable to both traditions within this country and that is probably his finest legacy. In mid-1916, uh, Frank was on leave and he came here for the last time and saw his family and particularly he spent a great deal of time with my grandfather, Joe's father. My grandfather Joe didn't know he was going to leave. I think it was up at the square he saw a car drive past and a a head he recognised fly by and didn't look back. It was too painful for Frank, who was in the car, to look back at his brother and tell him, give him a final goodbye. And what he surely knew was a final goodbye. And of course, he never came back. A burst of sudden wings at dawn, faint voices in a dreamy noon, evenings of mist and murmurings, and nights with rainbows of the moon. And through these things a woodway dim, and waters dim, and slow sheep seen on uphill paths that wind away through summer sounds and harvest green. This is a song a robin sang this morning on a broken tree. It was about the little fields that call across the world to me. This will be for the dairy papers. Oh, lovely.